Imagine you're cruising at 35,000 feet when your pilot suddenly announces an emergency diversion. Outside your window, what looks like an innocent cloud is actually a 60,000 foot tall monster capable of tearing your aircraft apart with invisible forces that can exceed the strength of a Category 5 hurricane. Welcome to the terrifying world of cumulonimbus clouds, nature's skyscrapers that can literally crush planes. These aren't just big fluffy clouds. These are atmospheric monsters that can generate winds over 200 miles per hour, create hailstones the size of baseballs, and produce downdrafts so violent they can slam aircraft into the ground in seconds. Today we're going inside these aerial death traps to understand how something made of water vapor can become one of aviation's greatest nightmares. What is a cumulonimbus cloud? A cumulonimbus cloud is basically a vertical river of air that can stretch from just above the ground all the way into the stratosphere. We're talking about clouds that can tower 12 miles high. To put that in perspective, if Mount Everest were a cloud, it would only be halfway to the top of a monster cumulonimbus. These giants form when hot, moist air rises rapidly through the atmosphere, creating updrafts so powerful they can throw even large aircraft off course, tossing them around like toys in a storm. But here's where it gets truly dangerous for aircraft. Inside these clouds, you have updrafts that can exceed 6,000 feet per minute. That's fast enough to carry a plane from cruising altitude to the stratosphere in less than 10 minutes. And right next to these updrafts, you have downdrafts just as powerful, creating invisible elevator shafts in the sky that can drop aircraft thousands of feet in seconds. Pilots call encounters with these clouds. Well, the best way I could describe it is it's sort of like riding a roller coaster through a car wash because you can't see anything out the windows in the eye wall. It's, it's just like a car wash. It actually, even in the middle of the day, gets dark inside the airplane. It's raining so hard. The turbulence inside a cumulonimbus can be so severe that it exceeds the structural limits of modern aircraft. We're not talking about the gentle bumps you might experience on a normal flight. This is violence that can snap wings, crack fuselages, and turn a routine flight into a life or death struggle. The sudden change in wind speed or direction lurks around the edges of these clouds like an invisible predator. Aircraft can be flying in perfectly smooth air one second and then suddenly encounter wind conditions that change by 100 miles per hour in just a few hundred feet. This is what brought down numerous aircraft before we understood the true nature of these atmospheric killers. The aviation industry learned about the deadly power of cumulonimbus clouds the hard way. In 1975, Eastern Airlines Flight 66 encountered a microburst while approaching JFK Airport. A downdraft from a cumulonimbus cloud slammed the aircraft into the ground, killing 113 people. This tragedy led to revolutionary changes in how we detect and avoid these atmospheric hazards. But turbulence isn't the only weapon in a cumulonimbus cloud's arsenal. These clouds are massive electrical generators, producing lightning strikes that can reach temperatures of 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit, five times hotter than the surface of the sun. When lightning strikes an aircraft, it can damage electronic systems, create holes in the fuselage, and temporarily blind pilots with its brilliant flash. Then there's hail, a serious threat that cumulonimbus clouds can unleash under the right conditions. While most hailstones are small and relatively harmless, some storms produce hail larger than softballs, with recorded examples weighing over two pounds. These dense ice projectiles can shatter aircraft windshields, dent fuselages, and destroy engines. Updrafts inside the cloud can suspend hailstones for extended periods, allowing them to grow layer by layer into dangerously massive chunks of ice. In 1977, a Southern Airways flight encountered golf ball-sized hail that completely destroyed both engines and shattered the cockpit windshield. The pilots were forced to make an emergency landing on a highway, but not before the aircraft had been essentially beaten to pieces by ice falling from the sky. Remarkably, most passengers survived, but the aircraft was a total loss. Keeping safe from the storm. Today's technology has revolutionized how we detect and avoid these atmospheric monsters. Doppler radar can peer inside storm clouds and map their internal wind patterns in real time. 
Air traffic controllers can see areas of severe turbulence, wind shear, and heavy precipitation, allowing them to route aircraft safely around the most dangerous areas. But here's something that might shock you. Aviation authorities are so terrified of these clouds that they've established what's known as the 20-mile rule. The FAA recommends that aircraft maintain at least 20 nautical miles, that's about 23 regular miles, of separation from any severe thunderstorm. Think about that for a moment. You need to stay nearly 25 miles away from something made of water vapor. That's like saying you can't drive within 25 miles of a particularly angry rainstorm. This isn't just overly cautious bureaucracy. The dangers surrounding these clouds can reach out far beyond what you can see. Wind shear, microbursts, and turbulence radiate outward from the cloud like turbulent shock waves, creating danger zones that extend for miles in every direction. Commercial aircraft are equipped with onboard weather radar that gives pilots a front row seat to nature's violence. The latest systems can detect turbulence, wind shear, and even predict where lightning is most likely to strike. But even with all this technology, the golden rule remains. Don't fly through a cumulonimbus cloud if you can possibly avoid it, and stay as far away as humanly possible. The coordination between pilots, air traffic controllers, and meteorologists has become a sophisticated dance around these aerial giants. Flights are routinely delayed, diverted hundreds of miles off course, or canceled entirely to avoid encounters with cumulonimbus clouds. This might cause frustration for passengers, but it's literally a matter of life and death. Believe it or not, some aircraft are specifically designed to fly into these monsters. Research planes equipped with reinforced structures and specialized instruments that can survive the journey into the heart of a cumulonimbus. These brave scientists and pilots help us understand exactly what's happening inside these clouds. Data that's crucial for improving weather prediction and aviation safety. From space, cumulonimbus clouds look deceptively peaceful, like cotton balls scattered across the landscape. But this perspective reveals their truly massive scale. Some cumulonimbus complexes can cover areas the size of entire states, creating aerial obstacle courses that force aircraft to detour hundreds of miles to find safe passage. Climate scientists are discovering that warming temperatures are making cumulonimbus clouds more intense and unpredictable. Warmer air can hold more moisture, providing more fuel for these atmospheric engines. This means the cumulonimbus clouds of the future might be even more dangerous than the ones pilots face today. Modern pilot training now includes extensive education about cumulonimbus clouds and their dangers. Pilots learn to read weather patterns, interpret radar imagery, and make split-second decisions that could save hundreds of lives. They're trained to respect these clouds as they would any other deadly natural phenomenon. Aircraft manufacturers are continuously improving designs to handle encounters with severe weather. Stronger materials, better lightning protection, and more sophisticated control systems all help aircraft survive what previous generations of planes could not. But no amount of engineering can completely overcome the raw power of a fully developed cumulonimbus cloud. The weather monitoring networks we rely on today represent one of humanity's greatest technological achievements. Thousands of weather stations, satellites, radar installations, and aircraft all contribute data to create a real-time picture of atmospheric conditions worldwide. This network helps predict where and when these aerial monsters will form, giving aviation professionals the information they need to keep flights safe. The price of safety. For passengers, the experience of avoiding a cumulonimbus cloud might mean a bumpy ride, a lengthy detour, or even a canceled flight. But understanding what's actually happening can transform frustration into appreciation for the incredible forces at work in our atmosphere and the skill required to navigate safely around them. These atmospheric titans represent nature at its most powerful and unpredictable. They're simultaneously beautiful and terrifying, creative and destructive. The total energy unleashed by a mature cumulonimbus cloud can rival that of a nuclear detonation, yet it's all powered by nothing more than warm air and water vapor. 
The next time your flight is delayed due to weather, remember that you're not just avoiding a little rain. You might be steering clear of an invisible monster capable of generating forces that dwarf anything humans have ever created. These clouds command respect from everyone who travels through the skies, from airline pilots to military aviators to weekend flyers. Nature's power never ceases to amaze and humble us. What other natural phenomena would you like us to explore? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more incredible stories about the forces that shape our world.